Today's adventure brings us to the Kentuckook River Canoe Company. They've been in business since 1997, right along the Kentuckook River. They sell and rent canoes, kayaks, and paddle boards. Dave, Tina, and Barry will be renting kayaks today, and we will be taking their shuttle nine miles up the river and then taking a leisurely paddle back down here to their location. And I believe we'll be on those little school buses over there, hon. Yep. <laughs> it should be a great day. Let's go. This is where we will take out after our nine mile journey, right back where we started. And we're going in. Thank you, Chuck. Tina's in. Yay, Dad. And you match the sky. Whoa! Come on, baby. Woo, woo. Everybody's in. Just to give you an idea on tipping, okay? See how I'm in the middle? I, basically, I really didn't move the kayak at all that flipping. So. Take, it would take a lot to get you to knock out, but if you're trying to grab a fish or something like that, chances are you'll fall out. Yeah, I was going to say grabbing fish. Other than that, though, it's, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's work on the uh, paddling technique and doing turns and stops and all that stuff. Today is Barry's first time ever kayaking. Dave and Tina have some experience from Moosehead Lake up in Maine, and in case you wonder why Cheryl and I didn't rent kayaks, well, that's because we have our own. We have Old Town Loon 120s, and the eye that just popped up will take you to part one of a two-part in-depth review that we did on these boats, if you're interested in getting one for yourself. Now you can see behind Dave and Barry that we found artifacts, because, well, we're the adventure team, we always find artifacts. Unfortunately, we're gonna leave it alone because Miss Brandy didn't want to come with us today. She doesn't like the kayaks. She would love the water, but we're, nine miles is a long way to try to swim. <laughs> is he okay? He's got a clam stuck to his foot. No. Dude, sorry. <laughs> Did you see that? He had a clam stuck to his foot. Oh, really? Yeah, it's back foot. Oh. Now, every watercraft that Charles and I have ever owned, whether it's a canoe or a kayak, at one point or another has been on this river. And I say one point or another because this river is 71 miles long. It flows from the Kentuckook Lake on the Jaffrey Ridge border, and it empties into the Merrimack River in Pentecook, New Hampshire. It is also one of the few New Hampshire rivers that flows north. Yeah, it defies gravity. And out of the 58 covered bridges, four of them cross this river. You may also hear this referred to as the Tukey or just the Took. Have it all to ourselves. Geez, I hope they come back out. A tunnel of love. A <laughs> tunnel of love. That's a good one, Barry. <laughs> hey, Barry said that was a tunnel of love. I thought you two would come out in the same boat. <laughs> no, we got in the tunnel. She started hitting me with the oar. <laughs> <laughs> We've been seeing quite a few of these painted turtles on this river adventure today. And one of them gave Dave a bit of attitude, so they got into a staring contest. Other wildlife we've seen so far is the great blue heron, plus this active bald-faced aerial yellow jacket nest. And word to the wise, yellow jackets are not known for leaving their stinger in you, meaning they can sting you multiple times. And does uh, anyone else see a mummy face in that nest? Now, if you guys decide to do this trip, the nine miles, when you see this bridge, you have done approximately three miles of it. So Dave the cave guy is over there checking out what we call the cave and he says it's just a hole. Brandy would be in there checking it out. It's a hole. <laughs> the next point of interest would be Dogwood Island and it's right there. There's already people up on it. Yeah. So we are all here on Dogwood Island having lunch. On the river. Reservations not required.
All right, and when you get up to this recreational bridge, it's part of the recreational trail, you have six miles approximately of the nine mile paddle under your belt. So Daredevil Dave is gonna try to climb that little stump right there. Just so I know, if you're falling and you need help, it's gonna take me a second to put the camera securely away so it doesn't get wet, and I'll be right there. And then you gotta stop laughing, and then you can come bail me out. <laughs> I forgot about the laughing, sorry. <laughs> Kids, don't try this at home. Oh, it's sinking, Dave. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry they canceled America's Funniest Home Videos. <laughs> now it's back. <laughs> Could you see the bottom over there? He almost did. <laughs> the next point of interest on our journey is Daisy Beach. Dave's in. Oh, yeah. A little chilly for me. Uh -oh. I'm just we are it. leaving the beach and we are two miles from the end of our journey. <laughs> the last point of interest for the day would be that abandoned bridge support right there in the middle of the river. Why? Well, beyond it and off to the left is where the Kentuckook River Canoe Company's parking lot is. It's been a great day out here. We had a blast. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us because we enjoyed bringing you with us. All right, everyone, so we're coming to you live. Well, not really live by the time you see it, but we are still on the Kentucket River. We are probably less than a half a mile from taking the boats back out. It was a great day to be out with the adventure team again. And if you guys like what you saw, we'd appreciate that thumbs up as always. If you want to follow along with everything we do here on the We Are Mud Fun channel, Dave, how would they do that? Click that subscribe button right down there That's and ring pointer. the bell to be notified of future videos. <laughs> nice pointer. If you have any questions or comments, where would they be, Barry? Right down below us. Or you can just say hi. Why, Tina? Because we'll say hi back. We, we always, always do. do. Until our next video. The end. Bye. Bye.